Hey guys, Irene here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm finally reviewing a lens a lot of you guys asked for and no wonder because it's quite good. This is Canon RF 85mm f2 macro IS STM lens, retailing for just $500. It recently went on sale and if you ask me, it's a very reasonable price. In this video, I will mostly pair it with the Canon EOS RP my favorite budget-friendly Canon full-frame camera body, which makes this a great affordable combo for portraits. But I will also show you the results this lens can give you paired with the R5, and I will compare it to one and only the 85 1.2L lens. And of course, we'll talk about its macro and video capabilities. As usual, I won't be focusing on the technical side and specs in this video, so if you want more info on that, I will link Canon's product page and let's get into the review. Our first location is in Princess Island Park in Calgary. We've been super lucky with this amazing warm weather this fall and I found this spot with lots of trees full of yellow leaves. It's nicely backlit but it's also getting a lot of light from the front as well. Yes. And let's do an, like a similar one where you were like holding on to the, to the thing. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yes, exactly. Stay where you are. What if I just got closer? Ooh, that's actually really nice. I'm gonna get just a little bit closer to you. Yes. beautiful oh I love that that's gorgeous yes So here's the side by side comparing the more affordable setup to the expensive one. And I think the only noticeable difference is the bokeh, the background blur, which is expected as I've shot both lenses wide open to test them at their limit. And you see the difference between the f2 and the f1.2. So let me know which one you prefer and in my opinion it's just a matter of how much background blur you like to see. The more affordable side still looks nicely blurred and the subject is separated from the background. If we look at the raw image comparison, I've noticed that the colors straight out of camera are a bit different. The left side has more yellow in it and the right more pink. Both cameras were set to portrait and 6K Kelvins, so it's just the color variation from both of the camera bodies and the different lenses. Nothing too crazy though and both skin tones still look good in my opinion. The biggest difference for me is actually in the detail. If we zoom in both of the images, we'll see that the more affordable side loses some of the detail in the eye and the skin, which in my opinion is not a big deal. Here are both images after editing and some sharpening, and sometimes I don't want too much skin detail because it's harder to edit, but again, I think it depends on what kind of photography you do and if losing a little bit of the detail is really important to you. But for portraits, I think that the budget side is totally fine. Next, I wanted to test both setups in a more challenging spot with a lots of backlight coming straight into the lens. So here is the result.
So here is where I do prefer the more expensive setup. I think the 85 1.2 just beautifully handles really strong backlit locations. But I will say that the budget side is not bad in any way and I'm sure there are people who actually prefer the look on the left. So let me know what you think. This next spot was perfect to compare the look and the size of the bokeh and you guys know I love me some beautiful bokeh so I had to see the comparison here. So I personally love when the bokeh size is big and I love the smooth background so of course I prefer the 1.2. Uh, it gives you the ability to really blur the backgrounds that you might not like. In this case the background is beautiful so it doesn't really matter but practically it is better to have the ability to shoot at 1.2 and not just for the look but also when you don't have a lot of light. Here is another comparison of the bokeh. Now both images were taken with the R5. The 85 1.2L is shot at 1.2 and the 85 F2 Macro is shot at F2. So it's similar to the comparison before. But now I'm going to put both lenses to F2 and there's not much difference except for the 1.2 lens produces softer, less defined bokeh and the F2 Macro looks more sharp and the edges of the bokeh are more defined. And when both are shot at 2.8, they almost look the same. I also don't know if you guys noticed a very slight difference in color here. The F2 Macro seems to have slightly more pink, while the 1.2L is a bit more yellow. But it is a very, very slight difference. For this next shot, I used both lenses on the R5 again. So the shots have the exact same settings, same camera bodies, just different lenses. I think it's pretty obvious that the 85 f2 macro paired with the r5 looks really good. That added resolution and detail of the r5 helps to boost the abilities of the lens. And now the only difference I can see is the bokeh and the background blur. But when we look at the raws, especially if you pay attention to the skin tones, the f2 macro has that pinkish look while the 1.2L looks more yellow. Uh, I pointed this out before. And again, the settings are exactly the same, so this is just the color difference that the two lenses will give you. It is noticeable to me, and I do prefer the skin tone of the 1.2 better, but this is a very, very small difference. For this next shot, I'm using the different bodies again, the RP with the F2 and the R5 with the 1.2, and I wanted to compare the difference of the full body shot. I got my model to lean against the tree and this spot was nicely backlit, just how I like it. The further you stand from your subject, the bigger the depth of field will become and so you will get less background blur and bokeh and you can still see the difference here between the f2 and 1.2 but it's not that much so let me know which one do you prefer. 
Let's not forget the fact that the 85 f2 is also a macro lens, so I had it to a field near my house to take some very amateur macro shots, so please don't judge these. I didn't edit them, they are purely here to demonstrate what this lens can do. I didn't shoot any macro beauty shots, but I do have a picture I can show you from last year when I first got to use this lens. Uh, I just think it works absolutely beautifully for close-ups and here it is paired with the R6. Here is some macro video I shot with the R5 and the F2 macro lens. This footage is fully handheld and it looks amazing thanks to both in-camera and in-lens stabilization. Of course, I took some more video footage with the model and again, it's all handheld, it's not slowed down, uh, it just has a little bit of color correcting to make it pop. And I think this lens works great for video. Its small size and weight makes it really easy to hold. So in conclusion, I think this lens is amazing. And if you are just starting out and looking for a budget-friendly, versatile lens for portraits, you can't go wrong with the RF 85mm f2 macro for just 500 USD. I will leave the link to the lens in the description with all of the other useful information, so check it out. And let me know what you guys think about this lens, would you get it? And don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!